Hello there YouTube, this is the Aqua Student here with the Planted 29 Gallon South American Community. First of all, I want to apologize for not uploading very many videos this uh, the past few months. I have been crazy busy with uh, my academics. We have our comprehensive exams in about a month, and so it'll be I'll still be living under a rock for the next month or so. But after that, I have a few projects lined up and uh, some things that I'll share with you in, in the next few videos. Uh, first of all though, let's do a rundown on what's been going on with the Planet 29 Gallon South American community. So, as you can see I've gotten a, a school of Rummy Nose Tetros. I love these guys' colors, the, the tails pattern is fantastic and, and just kind of uh, really different and, and kind of unique. Uh, also, we still have the Epistogramma Vajita or Mac Mysteria, not exactly sure which. I believe it's a Mac Mysteria, just a, a special lime red variant which works out well. I ended up losing the female that came with him uh, a few months ago. She was kind of sick for a while. I had her in a quarantine tank and I honestly thought it was dropsy because her, her scales were raised and, and every, it, she just didn't look well. But uh, I had her isolated, treated her for a while. She improved a little bit but didn't seem to uh, change all that much and since she didn't die within the first couple weeks, I figured it wasn't dropsy. Um, so after about a month and a half, two months, I ended up putting her back in here and then a few weeks later I came home from classes and she was gone. So it was quick, uh, I didn't even, I thought she was fine one, once I put her back, but I, I suppose not. Uh, anyway, uh, one of the local guys was at a, an auction and found a female Mac Mysteria. He picked it up, um, I, I had talked to him about my uh, my Mac and he picked her up for me and, and brought her over and put her in here. She's a little bit larger than my male, but that's probably a good thing at this point. Uh, she's new to the environment and uh, well, she won't get bullied that much. Uh, she's got some great colors. Definitely, uh, they definitely seem to be liking each other. So looking forward to that. Let's go ahead and get some close-up shots. First thing you'll notice is I picked up a few angelfish. I always wanted to keep them, it's kind of one of the classic freshwater fish. It's also one of the classic fish to breed. So I'm really hoping to get a pair out of these three. Uh, there's two of them that are kind of the, the pearlescent, almost uh, tiger striped finnage. See, hopefully on the dorsal fin. It's got those orange stripes on them. It's really interesting to see and I, I hope uh, I can get some of the, uh, a pair out of these guys. We also have a more wild type looking coloration guy. Also some great color out of him. As you know from before, I got an Aquatech CO2 regulator with built in solenoid, all, all that fancy stuff. I also took a trip over to a local CO2 or, or beverage supply store and picked up a 10 gallon CO2 tank. So that should last me quite a long time. Uh, also once it does run out, it's only 15 bucks or so to fill up, even less than that. So that'll work out quite nicely, I'm excited for that. The sword on this left side has just gone absolutely nuts since I turned the CO2 on. So overall things are going quite well in this tank. I'm very happy to say that spring is also finally here, which means that summer is coming up and I have a few plans lined up. One of the major projects for this tank is I want to build a new stand, so I picked up this metal frame stand from Petco was on sale for like 12 bucks on clearance. So I got it up for next to nothing. But it turns out it was a 29 gallon long tank, not uh, it, or, or 29 gallon high tank, not long. So the dimensions didn't quite fit. That's why I had to put in these 2x4s that I painted black. So it looks good, but it's not quite as sturdy as I'd like it to be. Plus, uh, if I build something, I could also hide uh, a lot of the equipment underneath and not have to worry about it. Also, I think I want to turn the tank around so this side is now the back. It's a little bit scratched up. When I moved the tank uh, last fall, I thought this side was a little bit better, so I switched it. Now I'm not so sure, so that'll be something that I can deal with later. But. Uh, Things have been going absolutely great. I finally got, since I got the CO2 working, I could turn the lighting 
back up. So now it's running at almost full power, exactly where I want it to be. The plants have uh, slowly been adjusting. You can see the Kabamba is probably the one that's the worst for the wear on this left side, but I'm sure once the melting's gone, it'll spring right back. Also, finally, I'm getting some growth out of the Marsilia quadrifolia. It's been a while, and I know some of the strands have been a little bit lackluster lately, but that's also because I haven't been running CO2 consistently for a while. So thank you guys very much for watching. I hope to get videos out more consistently, but like I said, I have the comprehensive exams coming up in about a month, and I need to pass those in order to progress in the program. So that's my goal for right now, and then I can start worrying more about the uh, aquarium stuff. Thank you guys very much for watching, if, and if you would, please like me on Facebook. Uh, it's facebook.com slash aquastudent. I'll post uh, all sorts of random stuff, tank related, aquarium related, and just kind of general science stuff and, and funny comments that, that I come across.